So welcome to my reaction to the Nintendo Direct. And it's been over 500 plus days since the last Nintendo Direct. It's amazing, so much time has gone on and the anticipation, the buildup, has been insane leading up to this. Everybody's been speculating and wondering what's coming out, even for myself, I said on Twitter, I'm like, there's gotta be a Zelda collection, there has to be. It's like Zelda's uh, 35th anniversary. Did we get that? No, we got some different things, some different things happened, but the one thing that kinda happened to me is, I went onto Reddit and I, and I saw all of the leak and the entire leak was correct. So I knew a lot of these games that were coming out uh, probably probably about half an hour before the event, which sucks. I I couldn't help myself. I'm like, no, it can't be real. And I read it, and it turned out every single thing was real. The one thing that I did not predict, and I'll show my reaction now, was the introduction of the brand new Smash characters. This is where you were, Pyra. Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join Smash! <laughs> <laughs> what an unveil. Oh my god. Oh, I thought I was going to be in Smash! Hyra and Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I did not see this coming. I thought, is this some DLC? Because I'm sitting there for a while. I'm like, this is DLC, isn't it? It's going to be something like that. Then I'm like, but wait a second. I'm like... No, I'm like, they usually start off with a Smash unveil. And it was, and that was pretty cool to see. And I thought there's gonna be a lot more Smash content uh, talked about at this event, but there wasn't. There was just that character that was revealed, and I was like, okay, that's cool. We got these two new characters uh, in one kind of thing. That's awesome. Uh, and then we begin the rest of the Nintendo Direct. And all the leaks were true. Fall Guys is coming to Nintendo Switch. I know there's a lot of people that are very excited about that coming out. And this is the strangest thing I'm going to say about this entire Nintendo Direct. These next two games are the things that I'm most excited about out of the entire Direct. I'm serious. I'm serious. Famicom Detective Club. There's two games. They're sold separately, unfortunately. Download only. I would really, really like a physical copy, and it's a detective choose your own adventure style of game, and we finally get it, it's a remaster, and I looked at this and I was like, yeah, this is the kind of thing that I'll play. It's, it kind of reminds me of you know, Ace uh, Attorney, that kind of style of game, and I'm like, I love a good detective story, I love you know, the idea of a Famicom detective club thing, that's great, and so those two games, that got me the most hyped. Samurai Warriors 5 got uh, announced, a Musou style of game. And Legend of Mana is getting a remaster coming to Nintendo Switch. And this is a game that I'm gonna talk about in the future on the show, so I won't ruin it now. Uh, I'll talk about what my feelings of it later on. I will say this, they don't need to change the music. There's arranged music in the new version. They don't need to change that. The original music in the original game is stellar, but you do have the idea that you can use arranged music. Why you'd want to, I have no idea, because the original music is that good. They showed some more Monster Hunter Rise. A lot of anticipation for this next Monster Hunter game on the Switch. It does look really good. It looks really fun for all the people out there who love Monster Hunter. And they showed the next Mario Golf game. And I looked at it and I'm like, it looks good. It looks fun. It's like Mario Tennis. And now we get, obviously we get Mario Golf. We always get these style of games that come out all in a big cluster. And uh, it looks good. The one thing I was laughing at was Mario running and he's got his golf club on his back. I thought that was the bit that I was like, I was laughing at that. I'm like, that's pretty funny. That's pretty awesome. And it's got a solo mode in there. You can use your, your Miis in there and kind of RPG it and build your character up and go through that entire game. And that looks interesting. Is it something that I'm going to pick up? Probably not. But I can see why a lot of people would be excited about it. They showed No More Heroes 3. And I really liked the original games. I thought they were really imaginative and some of the mini games were a lot of fun. And then all of a sudden they were showing this game and I'm like, oh my God, is this Shin Megami Tensei 5? Is this, is this it? You know, I was, I, I, was, I was thinking that's what it was. No, it's a game called Neon White. It's a card shooting game. I don't quite understand it. You're switching cards. I don't know what's happening there. It looks interesting, but it was kind of I thought it was something else at first, and I'm like, oh, it's not Shin Megami. I'm like, damn, when is that game coming out? 
It's been, a, it got announced when they announced the Switch back in the day. So it's been a long time in development. I think it's gonna live up to the hype when it, whenever they finally announce it. Strangely, Metopia is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I looked at it and I was like, okay, yeah, I remember playing this on the 3DS. It was kind of cool. It's a novelty style of game. And that's coming out for anybody who did not play the original. You can really uh, create your own character and kind of go in this fantasy world with your Miis and it's a little bit of fun. Mario items are available in Animal Crossing. That's coming out really soon. So you can put on a Mario costume and have some mushrooms on your island. Now this is the one that got me and I just want you to show you a little bit of my reaction because I didn't know what it was at first and I, I swear to God, I thought it was Octopath Tactics. I even said it. Power is this like this Every last Octopath one. Tactics? Project Triangle Strategy. A working title, obviously. A working title by Square Enix. And I didn't know that till the end. At the end they said, by Square Enix. And I'm like, oh my God. Because even in during the video, I was like, this is like Final Fantasy Tactics and all that. And I, I'd really like to see a Final Fantasy Tactics again. That'd be awesome. Harkening back to the original. Uh, but I looked at this one and I was like, this looks really cool. This looks really good, and uh, they claim that uh, you can make decisions that will really alter the your, your gameplay, and you'll, you'll have different uh, you know, outcomes to friends of yours uh, based on different decisions. They say that in a lot of games, a lot of times it doesn't come true. Sometimes it does. I hope it does in this, but the one thing that is fascinating is there's a demo today. Really, so I'm gonna go and try that out later on and see what that's all about, but I really like the graphics. Got that Octopath Traveler uh, vibe going on there. Very detailed, uh, very refreshing, and it's always exciting to see a game like that. And they announced Star Wars Hunters, and that was basically it. It was a, a title drop, and saying there's gonna be a free-to-play shooting style of game coming in the future, and I didn't really have a lot of excitement. I was like, okay, I'll wait to see it when they reveal it. I hate little clip reveals like that because it's just so shallow. You just go like, okay, it's a title and it's it, it, this is what it's gonna be in the future. I'll see the actual trailer in the future and get excited at that point. So uh, that was okay. Hades is getting a physical copy coming out in March and the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is coming out. Three games in one. Ninja Gaiden is an older series now. Uh, but it's coming to Nintendo Switch uh, in this collection, and that's kind of cool to get it, that all on one cart eventually. It's amazing to think about. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, we kind of knew that was coming anyways, and that's coming later this month. And another one I was scratching my head at, I really was. I mean, I played it back in the day, and I think some people out there liked the game. I certainly did not. And that was Sagar Frontier. There's a remaster coming out, and my hype level on that is non-existent. I really, I might play it again for the nostalgic trip. I bought the game when it first came out, and I was like, oh, it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. It wasn't quite what I was hoping for. So maybe with the remaster, they can add some more animation going on in there, add a little bit more to it. I remember you could pick different characters and go on these different quests and all of that, but it was very unfulfilling and it never quite lived up to what I was hoping it would be. So hopefully the remaster's better. And then the big one at the end, they came out and said, hey, you know, Breath of the Wild 2 that you all want to hear about? We can't talk about it. There's nothing to talk about yet. Sometime by the end of the year, we'll discuss it. I hope that means that they'll discuss it just before Christmas for a Christmas release. Could you imagine? Oh. Man, oh man, that makes Christmas 2021 seem that much brighter and more exciting than ever, if that was possible. But they said, nope, we don't have any information on that. And there, there I was, I'm like, but they're gonna talk about the Zelda collection, Zelda's 35th anniversary, they're gonna say something about that. Where no, they just talked about Skyward Sword High Definition. And what's weird about this, I'm very happy to get that by the way. I really want to say that. I'm not a super hater on the game. I didn't like the, the remotes, you know, back in the day doing that. It was very tiring. I just wanted to press the button. The great news here is that yes, 
You can do it the old way with the Joy-Cons. They've updated that a little bit, but you can play it with a regular controller and you just use the stick now to control which angle your sword goes in. I'll see how that goes. And the big thing that I thought was exciting is there's going to be limited edition Joy-Cons for the game. And I gotta admit, uh, they look damn cool. I was like, oh man, I might have to pick this up. That's for sure. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna buy uh, the high definition you know, game of that. But I, I did a Floydian slip there. I really thought there would be a collection. So I thought there was gonna be something like Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and uh, Skyward Sword on one cart. That was my dream. I thought that was gonna happen. I would have stated my life on it. I would have stated my life on it. I thought they were going to do an All-Stars, like a Zelda All-Stars, and we didn't quite get that. Uh, but uh, not, not too bad. And at the end, they're like, one more thing. And I'm like, what is this one more thing? And boom, in the first second, I'm like, Splatoon 3. And it was Splatoon 3. And so that's that makes sense. That's coming out. It's always frustrating when you get a, like a Splatoon 2 and you get a Splatoon 3 and there's no Metroid Prime yet. You're like, what? Dad, we need some F-Zero going on. We need some more stuff like that to shake it up. And uh, that's cool though. There's, I have friends of mine that love Splatoon that are insane for it. That's for sure, but that's okay. I'm still holding a lot of hope for Metroid Prime 4 and for Breath of the Wild uh, 2 to come out this year. What do you guys think? Is that even possible? Is that, po is that a, is that a, a crazy dream? It is, and I'm gonna dream it. I'm gonna pretend that that can possibly happen. But overall, a very interesting Nintendo Direct. I even said online, never get your expectations too high for these things. You'll always fall through the, the floor with it. <laughs> Every time, because I always see somebody saying, where's the, you know, where's the next F-Zero? Can't wait for that. Or a Star Tropics, the next Star Tropics. And I'm like, oh, hey, give me an Advance Wars while we're at it, that'd be, Fantastic and fantasy land for sure. So guys, were you excited? Were you happy with this Nintendo Direct? Let me know down below. So anyways, guys, until next time.